to start this video off, I just wanted to say that this video actually started as a hair video and then it moved into just to a like weekend daily vlog. So that is why I'm kind of like talking about my hair a lot in the video because it was going to be like a hair tutorial video but I ended up just keep filming the rest of my weekend so enjoy the vlog. Today I'm doing another hair video. I wasn't actually going to film this but after I do things to my hair you guys always message me and ask me if I filmed it. So I figured just to have a fun video up on this channel I was going to show you guys um, how I'm getting rid of the rest of this pink in my hair and trying to get rid of these orangey bits here. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. I'm basically just going to be doing my roots, which they haven't grown in too much. It has been a month since I last bleached my hair. In this video, I'm just going to be doing my root and trying to get this pink out and then doing a toner. And hopefully the end result is like platinum white blonde hair because up here, it's pretty much getting to that point up here. But like I said, I have all these orangey yellow purple bits or pink bits down here. So I'm going to be showing you guys the things that I have been using the past month um, to fade my hair because my hair used to be all pink. If you guys saw my last video, this is a kind of a continuation from my last video because in my last video, I was trying to go fully blonde and I ended up pink. So this is me trying to go just platinum blonde from pink. All right, there's horrible lighting in here, but for the past month, um, two times a week, I would use this L'Oreal Ever Pure purple shampoo and conditioner, and it helps tone your hair. So, as you can see from the back of the bottle, as you can see from the back of the bottle, it helps tone brassy hair. And I have noticed that it's been helping pretty well, actually. Um, it's definitely faded out a lot of this, and now it's just kind of turning just orangey and it's starting to get it out but look this part up here is like white and then i've also i haven't used heat on my hair once in the past month like literally i have not curled it i haven't straightened it i have done absolutely nothing to it for the past month to let it just heal up on its own and i've also been using like leave-in conditioners and oils and masks and stuff on my hair and my hair feels completely fine and healthy and haven't really had any problems with it. It's very dirty right now, as you can tell. So the things I'm going to be using today is the L'Oreal Quick Blue Bleach. I just bought the big bucket last time and I still have a lot of it left. So that is what the bleach that I am using. I'm only using a 20 volume developer because my hair is already pretty much blonde. I'm just trying to um, do touch-ups on my roots and try to get this little bit of pink out. So I'm just using 20 volume. And then of course I've got my gloves because I don't want to burn my hands and my bowl and brush. So the inside of this bleach, if you've never used it before, it has a little scooper on the inside. So for my hair length, I usually just use about one to one and a half scoops, but I'm just gonna put one scoop in my bowl right now. And then the one scoop is equaled out to about one and a half to two ounces of developer. So I'm just gonna do two ounces of developer. And I'm not gonna touch the ends of my hair the best that I can, but I need to just dab a little bit of the pink with the bleach. like after having a bleach in for 30 minutes and washing it here is what my hair looks like i like missed a little patch of brown right here but it's not really noticeable um there's still like orangey pink you know i just feel like this is never going to come out at this point but i'm going to put a toner on my head because up here is a little orangey yellow so i'm going to be using the color brilliance ion color brilliance ultra violet toner um, I've used this before. It works pretty good. I don't think it's going to get all the orange out, but this is a pretty good toner I've used and it works pretty well. Um, if you don't have a purple toner, you could mix like purple hair dye with um, white conditioner and make like a really light purple toner. And it says online to mix it with 20 volume developer. So 
the pink is almost completely out. As you can see, my hair is pretty white, very white at the top. And there's just a little, little bit of orangey pink right here. But I feel like um, as I keep using purple shampoo, it will totally be blonde. So I actually have a couple errands that I have to run today. I have to go to the grocery store and get some groceries. I'm running out of food. So me and my boyfriend are gonna go to Target and get some food. I actually wanna look at their wallpaper because I am interested in one of the wallpapers that they have and I don't know if it's in stock, but it's called Celestial and it's like this dark navy blue with like goldish looking stars on it. And I want to buy it and put wallpaper on the wall that my TV is in in the living room. So I just wanna see if that's in stock. And then there's a couple other things that I'm gonna get. So I guess today is just going to be a life vlog. I haven't done one in a while. And when I have nothing else to film, I normally just film a vlog. So we are going to be just filming things today. Um, the things I have to do is of course go to the grocery store. Um, I need to go by the PO box as well. I have to clean my hamster enclosure because my hamster actually, if you guys don't follow me on my social media, my hamster passed away a couple days ago. I don't really know why. I'm guessing it's because of old age but I found him dead on Sunday. So I need to clean out his enclosure and I'm not planning on getting another hamster anytime soon. So I'm just gonna turn his enclosure back into a bookcase, which is what it actually is. Um, because every single time I go in there and see the enclosure, I get really sad and I don't feel like being in there. I need to completely revamp it back into a bookcase. So I stop thinking of my hamster every time I walk in there. So that's another thing I'm gonna be doing. And I needed my boyfriend here anyway to help me do that because the hamster enclosure is very heavy. And I unfortunately cannot lift it myself because I am weak. Okay, here is what my hair looks like dry. I actually really like it. I think it's really cute. Very, very, very white. This is very white. I just have to get the remaining pink out. But I really like it. So I actually just got back from Target and I got a lot of things I wasn't planning on getting, but I went to Target and I spent $300, but I did get groceries. All right, I'm gonna do a quick haul of all of the things that I got at Target that I wasn't planning on actually getting, but they're really cute and cool and I'm gonna show you what they look like. So the first thing I got for my apartment is this wallpaper, which they said online they didn't have in stock but they have it. It's called Celestial and it's a peel and stick wallpaper. So that means it's safe. It's safe. It's safe for your walls and you can peel it off later. So it's good for apartments and things like that. But I'm going to put it on the wall that my TV is in, in my living room. So I'm going to apply that in the video today. Then I got these uh, super tip markers because I'm a little kid um, and I like them. And they were only $5, but I actually like to use them as highlighters in my bullet journal. And I got conditioner, mascara, stuff y'all don't care about. But this is the cute witchy kind, kind of stuff. They had a whole line of scented candles that have your sign on them. So this is my Libra candle and it smells really good. Mine is starfruit, pineapple, amber, and musk. And it's a black candle and it says it's a 40 hour burn time. And it's a black candle and it smells so good. I don't even know if I wanna burn it, but after I burn it, I'm literally going to keep this and put things inside of it because it's so cute. It was $8 though, which is kind of expensive for a candle, but it's worth it. And then in the dollar section, they had these little pot planters um, where you can grow herbs, which is like the most witchiest thing ever, and I had to buy them. So this is a herb grow kit for rosemary. It comes with a little pot and you can grow that and i also got forget me not which i don't even know what that is but is that a flower that's that one then we got thyme or thyme i don't even know how to say that one so i'm gonna try to grow these i always really suck at growing things but i really want to try and those were all a dollar and then i got this incense burner set um it's lemon and grapefruit and I just grabbed it because I'm annoying and I wanted it. It was $10 and it also comes with the little incense holder. So if you don't have an incense holder, it holds it for you. Then I got these two canvas prints in the Nintendo section of Target. They were $10 each, but I wanna put them in my office, my gaming streaming room. So there's the classic Mario and the classic Legend of Zelda, which I both played a lot as a kid. So I had to get them. They had a couple other different ones and he's laying on my leg. Then I got this hanging rope planter. It was a dollar. It doesn't come with a planter, but it's like it 
you could put one in it. So eventually I'm gonna get a planter to put in that. And then the best thing that I got that I wanted because I have it in Animal Crossing and I have a patio that looks out into the stars is a telescope. So I got this $40 telescope. It's the National Geographic one that I'm gonna put on my patio and look at the moon and the stars at night because my patio literally looks up to the sky so perfectly. So, and it says that you can actually see the surface of the moon, stuff like that. So we're gonna put that, set that up in this video too. So I am going to set up things and um, record it for you guys. And then we're gonna make dinner and stuff later too. So I will update you guys in a little bit. So when we went to Target, I found mochi. I was actually walking through the aisle and I was saying that I wanted it and then I saw it. I've never had it before. Yes, I have a dog named Mochi and I've never actually had it before. <laughs> so I got the double chocolate flavor and the sweet mango. They had like six or seven different ones. So we're gonna try the mango ones first. Like I said, I've never tried mochi before. I've always wanted to try it, but I could just never find it anywhere but Target had some. Here's what it looks like. This is the mango one. It's like gooey yeah. on the outside. That is good. I feel mochi. like the chocolate one's gonna be way better. Mochi? Meet mochi. Yeah? Look at him. <laughs> Yummy. All right, the next one I'm gonna try is the double chocolate one, which I think is going to be better. I like the mango one, but just the, I'm a texture person. What? The texture. Uh, oh, you don't like the texture? Mm-mm. Mm. Wow. Not bad. Mm, no, it's good. Not a fan of the texture, honestly. I can see why it's an ASMR food because of how gooey it is. Ooh, but I could not eat a bunch of them. A bunch of them, like ASMR just do. Like I don't know how they do that, but here it's the 24th, which is I think two days later since I last updated you guys. I just got back from work, and I actually had some mail from Etsy, so I wanted to show you guys. Um, I don't remember the last update that I did, but we got up that one roll of wallpaper took like a quarter, maybe even less of the wall. So I had to order more. But this right here is some more apartment decor. It's actually for my bathroom. I got it on Etsy and they are hand towels, like decorative towels. You know, you're an adult when you've gotten to that point where you buy decorative towels, but here they are. They match kind of the theme of my bathroom. We've got these really, really soft hand towels and they just have like the witchy theme to them. They smell really good. They actually kind of smell like laundry detergent. I love that. But it's just two of them and they're handmade with like an embroiderer thing. And this is the shop that I got it from. So if you guys want to check it out, she has like a bunch of different or they have a bunch of different types of towels and stuff. In my office, I have my Detolf right here and I put all my journals on it. So that is what I've done so far here. I have my plants growing and then tomorrow I should get my wallpaper in the mail. So I will be doing some more wallpaper and then this vlog will be over maybe, we'll see. Oh, and my washing machine broke. So I have to go get a new washing machine. 
Hey guys, it is the next day and I actually just got back from getting a new washer and dryer. I was planning on just getting a washer, but they had a really good deal on a set, so I got a brand new washer and dryer, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. It is running right now, so it's going to be kind of loud, but I got a Samsung washer. Here's what it looks like. And then I got the matching dryer. So I really like it. And to update you guys on the wallpaper, um, it was supposed to come in the mail yesterday and it didn't, so I only have this little section of the wallpaper done, but I really love it. I think it's really pretty and I'm very excited to see the whole wall filled with that wallpaper. So I'm gonna post pictures of my walls um, when they're done on my Instagram. So if you guys wanna follow me on my Instagram, I will have the link for it down below. I need to get this vlog up on my channel and I don't have time really to wait for the wallpaper. So I'll just take a picture when it's all done and you guys will see the final result. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It wasn't boring or anything. I don't know. I didn't feel like I didn't really do that much, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.